morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I say, Charles, is it delightful? But Mary dear, where are you staying? We were at the White Hart with Mrs. Musgrove and Henrietta and Captain Harville. You remember a man from Lyme? Of course. Come and see upstairs. Oh yes. What brings old Mrs. Musgrove to Bath? She's come to buy wedding clothes for Henrietta and Louisa. It is so exciting, it makes me feel giddy. A double wedding. What do you think for Louisa's hair, Anne? This one or this one? Oh, Louisa has become so severe, Mama. I wonder she will want a ribbon in her hair at all. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a book of verse to hold it instead. <laughs> Look who I found, Mama. Captain Wentworth. Good day. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning, Good morning Charles. Good morning. And I've done something, Mama, that you like. I've been to the theatre and I've secured a box for tomorrow night. The theatre! Oh, and you will accompany us, I do hope. Oh, I, I am obliged to you, Mrs. Musgrove, but I cannot. There is an evening party at Camden Place, to which I understand you shall all be invited. Shh, it's an evening party. <laughs> oh, well, if it depended only on me, Charles, I assure you I should prefer the theatre. But I have an obligation to my family. Then we shall go another time, when you are free to join us. Thank you. Captain Harville, come and sit with me. I am desperately in need of a fresh opinion. <laughs> Perhaps you have not been in Bath long enough to learn to enjoy these parties they give. They mean nothing to me. Those who hold them believe the theatre to be beneath their dignity. But I am no card player. No. You'll never go away. Ah, there is Mrs. Clay, I am sure, standing under the colonnade and a gentleman with her. Bless my soul, it's Mr. Elliot. No, it cannot be Mr. Elliot. He has gone out of Bath for two days to stay with his friends in Coombe Park. Upon my word, I think I may be supposed to know my own cousin. Come and look. Is it not, Mr. Elliot? <laughs> 